Hello and welcome back to a brand new video in Off-Road Outlaws. Now today, we are going to be attempting to build the ultimate, or at least one of the ultimate, tow rigs. Because I've been building a lot of monster trucks lately. I built this uh, sort of tribute to Bigfoot, as well as this mega cyber truck over here. And so both of these things really have, uh, really have definitely served their purpose. But we are going to go ahead and, well, apparently one of my current challenges is get totally muddy, then wash truck in a creek or lake and then play for 30 minutes okay um first things first though we're gonna head to the dealership and we're gonna see what truck we should start with now if we work backwards obviously you can see that the cyber truck is one of them i'm not gonna make a deuce and a half a tow rig i mean it would be it would be cool but it's not what i'm looking for um a monster school bus is definitely in our future uh it's definitely part of my plans we could do a power wagon but I'm kind of leaning Chevy for some reason. And I don't normally lean Chevy, but for some reason, I'm kind of leaning Chevy. More particularly, I am leaning towards something four-door, like, for example, this thing. Now, on the surface, this looks like your fairly standard Silverado 1500. But what I'd like to do is convert it into basically a Duramax dually, and we'll see we'll see if that's possible. Now, I've never really messed much with creating tow rigs or street trucks, so this will be my first go around, and uh, we'll see if we can actually make something happen. Go easy on me, nah. We'll see what we'll see what happens, and. First things first, I am going to head straight to the upgrade section so I can just fully get this thing built out so I don't have to worry about it. Um, and when I say maxed out, I mean maxed out. Let's see, I'm going to probably spend a mix of money and gold on this thing because you'll lose your definitely swapping to diesel. And then we're going to go to durability and then we'll use a combination of money and gold. Gearbox, I'm going to leave it alone for now. And I'm going to throw an e-brake on it, and then I'm going to throw a full turbo setup on it. And so now, we're diesel swapped and turbo, so we've got the turbo diesel part taken care of. And now, we have to handle a couple of other things, more particularly ride height, wheels, stuff like that. So, in order to sort of transform this thing, we are going to start with a solid axle type and turn it into... A solid axle heavy duty. I'm gonna go ahead and install solid axle heavy duty. And then, oh, monster is not what I want. And we'll go to the rear and we will install a solid axle heavy duty in the back. And then that will hopefully give us more of an appearance of being a truck rated for basically more weight. I mean, effectively, what we did was we went from half ton axles to one ton axles and then well maybe three quarter ton um and then from there i'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of suspension tuning um i'm gonna make the well let's go ahead and make sure we buy it like buy everything like all the way out um just so we don't have to worry about being limited and then I'm going to go back to the front, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, axis width, I'm going to bump it out just a little, not, not too far, nothing too crazy, like maybe 0.3, um, because again, I want this to be a tow rig, I don't want to have to, like, I want it to be a tow rig with a little bit of a mild, like, you know, aggressive stance, and then, let's see, let's see, travel, um, we're going to raise it, so right now it's 0 0.30, I think I'm going to raise it to, like, point not much like a point three five yeah not too much point three five will probably be okay um you guys will see where i'm going with this a little bit later once we get to kind of uh get down to the business of really like making it look right so access with point oh three let's go to the rear now and make it Point oh two. We'll try point oh three, and then we'll adjust as needed uh, a little bit later. And then the front, I'm not going to squat this thing. The travel is point three five. Travel in the back is going to be point three five. So with that being all said and done, now I'm going to go ahead and do ooh, spring brackets, upper mount. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, that's it. Okay, never mind. Um, leaf springs change the mount height so you can kind of change the mount height if you want i'm not gonna mess with that i'm not gonna mess with the damping either at the moment um wheels and tires i'm gonna go ahead and sort those out right now 
Um, I think we're going to go ahead and do... Well, obviously, we're going to go ahead and, like, just fully upgrade everything so that we don't have to worry about it. But let's see. The the wheels themselves, I'm going to make them a little bit bigger because this is definitely gonna, kind of going to be a little bit more along the lines of street truck. So I'm going to go up to, like, a 1.5. And then in the back, I'm going to do the same. 1.5. And then, obviously... The, so let's go to the front, and then wheel width is going to be like a eh, 1.4. I might have to I might have to bump these out just a little bit more. I might have to bump these out just a little bit more. Um, and then wheel radius, I'm going to increase by just a tad. Just a tad to like 1.1. One, one. If I do 1.1, one, one, again, nothing too crazy. So it's radius at a, oh wait, width at 1.3, radius at 1.1, one, one, and then rear, I'm going to make sure the radius is at 1.1, one, one, and then the width, let's set the, well actually, let's leave the width alone and then see what happens to the rear when we go dually in the back. So let's go ahead and go back now, and I'm going to go ahead and stick the duallys on it straight away, I think. And I'm thinking, where would we go to... Okay, customize, that's right. So it looks a little bit awkward right now, but trust me, it will be... A l we'll have more, like... We'll, we'll be able to see what we're working with when we swap the wheels and tires over. Okay, so... Wait, why did I buy dually for the front? Non-dually. All right, rear, dually. Okay, um... I don't know. I mean, I like it. Yeah, I like it. It might have to be a tad wider. Just a tad. But then again, then again, I mean, it kind of looks good right now. I am going to go ahead, though, and do, like, I'm going to go ahead and put the different wheels on it right now because it definitely needs them at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and scroll through some of the new wheels that have been added. And I'm not going to beadlock this thing because I feel like beadlocking it would be a little bit counterintuitive. I mean, it's a... It's, it's a truck that's made to tow your off-road rigs to the trails. So I'm going to put something like that. Not going to beadlock it. I mean, again, why would you beadlock a wheel like this big anyway? Um, and then, let's see, spoke color. How would they look just like, hmm, like in a silver almost? But I wish you could like, I wish you could almost like chrome them, you know, like... Not super chrome, but like sort of chrome silver almost. Maybe right about there. Right about there looks fairly okay. So we'll go to the rear, and then I'm going to, again, swap over to these wheels. And I'm going to go with a spoke color of, let's see. Is, oh, God, no. No, 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 no. We'll start out with white. and Come on. Okay, let's bring that down just a little bit to a nice silver. I don't know. I don't... I'm not totally stoked on it yet, but, like, I feel like we'll, uh... We'll like it a little bit more later. So, let's go ahead and do our body mods now. Because I feel like... Let's see. I feel like we definitely need to sort out the body mods before we do, uh... Before we do much else. I'm not sure if... That looks pretty good. That, that that looks pretty good. I mean, the stock bumper looks pretty good, but so does... Yeah, so does that. That looks pretty sick. It looks, it looks very tow rig to me. Could do that. I mean, it definitely fits the dualies in the back. I don't know if I like it in the front, though. I mean... Yeah, I don't know if I like it in the front. I could go with those, though. And then, let's see, rear bumper, that'll do. Like, there's really not much that I, yeah, let's see, running boards. Those look like amp steps, but I don't really like them because you can't fold them away. You know, they look kind of out of place. And then roof lights, maybe just a simple light bar, like nothing too crazy, just a simple light bar. And then, where do we want, oh god, where do we want this, if we even do want it? Ah, uh, I don't think I want it. And then, windshield protection, don't need that. Front lights. 
Mm, it, it, it really kind of ruins the look at, up there at the front. I'm totally down for my toe rig to have a winch, though. Jack, where's that going to go? Up top? Eh, my toe rig can carry it. Well, it looks weird. Like, I don't know. If I could put it somewhere else, I'd be down. Exhaust pipes, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I could see it with a stack coming out of the bed. Yeah, I could see it with a stack in the bed. And then we'll do... We do red? Please tell me they have red. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well... I'm down for the blue. Like, for, Well, no, I'm down for the white headlights. The white, like, HIDs. That will work for me. And then I'm just going to go ahead and handle the paint real quick. The reason why I left the wheels a very basic color is because I wanted to be able to do almost, like, whatever with the paint and not really have to worry about whether or not the wheels matched because I wasn't totally sure what I wanted yet. So I kind of dig the blue. Not completely sure on it, not completely stoked on it, but... Oh, I could dig the red, though. Yeah, I can I can dig the red, I can dig the orange, but... I dig the red. I really do. The red, the red looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the red looks pretty sick. I'm really digging that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply... Eh, do a gold or money. I'm gonna do gold. Apply everything. Like, straight up, everything. And then I'm gonna go back to the tuning. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a dino tune, and let's go ahead and run it and see what kind of power she's putting down. Max horsepower power 705, max torque 1186. That's not terrible. That is not terrible. Alright, so now it's just about time to go ahead and maybe even buy a new trailer. I might be down to buy a new trailer, so let's see what new trailers we can buy. Got this big long gooseneck boy. All right, so we've got we've got gooseneck boy bought. You are gonna be what carries it. So equip. Yes, <laughs> yes I do. All right, so you're equipped now to the Duramax, and then let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and actually probably tow. Oh, uh, Monster Cybertruck or the or or Bigfoot. I think I'm gonna tow Monster Cyber with this thing. Yeah. All right. Load on the trailer. I've never actually tried towing a like one of these actual monster trucks before, so this will definitely be an interesting one for me. Oh boy. All right, boys. Well, let's see what happens when we go to tow this thing. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to go to the desert first because the desert is actually a really open environment. So that'll give us a lot of room to kind of see what all is going on. See how everything kind of lines up to... Whoa. Something looked a little messy there with the trailer for a second. But I'm not going to... You know what I'm not going to do? I am not going to question it. I am not going to question it. We're going to throw this thing in four-wheel drive. And we're going to lock just the rear to start off. And let's go. It's, whoa, God, it was glitching out a lot for a second there. It's definitely squatting a bit. Yeah, it's definitely squatting a bit. However, it's not bad. Like, I'm looking at this setup right now, and I'm like, you know what? You know what? This isn't bad. Like, is it the best tow rig in the world? Eh, probably not, but, man, I kind of dig it. I really kind of dig it, and I'm actually more than willing to, uh, more than willing to actually, like, legit use it. Oh, God. Come on. Swap cameras. First person. Ah, the wheel moves. I love how the wheel moves. Cinematic. Oh, that does get some, that does go to show how big the Mega Cybertruck really is, though. Because it's big. It's huge. Let's see if we can haul it through the mud. Lock everything. And when I say lock everything, I mean lock everything. All right, boy. Think you got what it takes? Let's go. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, so it actually does have what it takes. This thing hauls. Thing absolutely legit hauls. 
Even through deep mud. I love it. And that was in high. Oh, God. Trailer's trying to pass us. Let's not let that happen. I'm going to try and drive it up a hill. 40. 50. I'm flat out. Oh, God. Oh, it's all gone wrong now. Oh, God. So it all went wrong. Um, yeah, it all went wrong. But you know what? Even if it all went wrong, at the end of the day, I actually still really like this thing. Like, I am happier with this than most of the tow rigs that I think I've ever built. I mean, legit, though, like a Duramax dually covered in mud towing a monster cyber truck. I mean, I don't know of any other game where you can do that without having to, like, you know, make your own, like, crazy mods or anything like that. I mean, like, if you did it in Mud Runner, maybe, but with, you'd have to do, you'd have to make your own mods. But in this game, it's like, sure, you want to do that? Go for it. Now, if you guys enjoyed this build, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Turn those notifications on if you would like to see more. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. See y'all later.